Oh man. I was hoping to get back into my body. <laughs> and if I couldn't pee sit in you, I wouldn't have expected anything different. Really? What was all that with the scattering across the universe thing? Those abilities border on the unreal. Maybe the reason you still adhere to physical laws has to do with an instinctual fear present in all physical organisms. It's, to it's all to truly fascinating. Kyochan? There you go, getting sneaking up on the old man. Oops, sorry, I did it again. <laughs> Could you stop calling me Kyo-chan? It's embarrassing. That was a childhood nickname. Not, not going to happen, my dear. You'll always be Kyo-chan to me. No matter how old you get or how brilliant of a detective you become. How long have you been there? What have you heard? I just got here. Is something wrong? Oh, you have a client. Sorry, sorry. Here you were going over a case? Oh, no. Unconventional nature. Oh, just who are you then? Oh, I'm an assistant detective, of course. This is detective Matayoshi. He's an old friend from when my father ran the agency, and I trust him completely. He's the most elite detective the force has on cybercrime. Looks are deceiving. You were thinking, well, I suppose I don't exactly fit the mold. But if I did, I'd never be able to tag along with the shader element? The shadier element? Oops, a slip of the tongue. So, there's something afoot. If it's a case, sit on the sofa and wait a bit. I'll just whip up some tasty coffee. Oh, thank you. No. No case today. No need for coffee. She must make lousy coffee. I heard a rumor about Eden Syndrome. I thought you might be interested. Let's hear it then. Um, um, ahem. No need to worry about my assistant, old man. This is someone with a rather special connection with Eden. My assistant has the potential to become something of a specialist in the field. Let's hear what you have to say. I see. If you can vouch for your assistant, that's fine. The rumor concerns the special ward in the Eden Hospital where they're isolating the Eden Syndrome patients. Oh, do I need to explain what Eden Syndrome is to your future specialist? Please do, yeah. It's a rare condition where Eden users suddenly lose consciousness and are unable to wake up. We see more and more patients with each year, but but the cause, symptoms, and treatment remain a mystery. There's a special ward at Central Hospital for Eden patients. Treatment and a search for the cure are underway, but information there is kept heavily restricted. There are facilities even relatives can't enter. The rumor is that there are concealed facts to help protect Kamish Kamishiro's image. 
This remains firmly in rumor territory for now. But lately, there have been happenings behind the scenes at Central Hospital. Behind the scenes, meaning Kamisho Enterprises, right? Yes, the hospital is under Kamisho's control, the same Kamisho who runs the Eden Network. The number of patients is increasing, and symptoms are getting worse. Now, all of all times is when Kamishiro needs to come clean, not remain silent. The alarming number of people are being admitted to the hospital in question, and security in the special ward has allegedly been beefed up. This means something is afoot. It was going to happen eventually. Yes, indeed. I think I'll put some coffee on after all. We can toast the agency's success. Now oh, look at the time. Where the we get to the station? Sorry, but it's safe to toast for another time. See you later. I'd watch out for her coffee, especially the color and the solid chunks floating in it. Oh. My. I fear the day is coming when I'll be forced to actually taste her coffee. The day won't be pretty. Huh. It was as he said. Your coffee is terrible? Oh, fresh info on Eden Syndrome is hard to come by. Kamishiro behind the scenes restrictions are doing their job. And security will only get ramped up all the more from here on out. There's something very strange happening in Eden. Then you show up on your weird body, in your weird body. And at the same time, Kamishiro's apparently on the move. Is that all merely a coincidence? No, it has to all be connected. The rationale is plain as day. No leaps in logic necessary. I'm heading to Central Hospital. I need to get as much info as I can before security is stepped up. I'd be thrilled if you came with me. You might be able to get some info on your current state. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be. Now, in your case, let's go with open sesame. Wow. Um... Well, what to do? At times like these, I tend to start off with a frontal attack. Let's try direct negotiations to get us into the hospital's special ward. Seems sketchy. Haha! <laughs> preconceived notions can sometimes lead to unintended consequences. Don't ask for details. They say that ignorance is bliss, after all. I give you instructions later. Until then, gather info inside the hospital. Asking questions is the Afro is the most fundamental cornerstone in detective work. I wasn't joking when I said you could become a specialist in the field, my dear prospective assistant. Become a GP and record my activities in a chart or become a boy with shining red cheeks. It's really a lot of fun. Um, hmm. Seems suspicious.
shy girl. Hello. Um. Okay. Okay, cool. I can move on my own. Um, I'm going to save and call this episode two. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. Check out my friends' channels, they're doing some awesome stuff too. And don't be afraid to check out the Extra Life page where you can donate to help in childhood diseases. Links in the description. And as always, remember, 